Alright. We are back. Playing some Stellaris. Let me speed things up here. I I put so much of this game. That music is just a little bit too epic for me right now. I don't. So, what's that shit? Yeah. System survey complete, pretty useless. So we got a pretty shit corner of the galaxy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I see one trade value, or two trade value here, and I see six trade value here. That's not a lot. Uh, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization of this inhospitable rock. Sure. Do it up, buddy. Let's see what's going on. Okay, yeah. Build that thing. And then I guess I can build over here. Alright, so we just finished our research. We're at twenty percent faster on this shit. Nebula refineries. The addition of internal refineries on mining stations could substantially increase mineral production. Okay, costs a hundred alloys. Two power upkeep produces six minerals. I'm not that concerned. We we always snowball minerals pretty hard in the late game. So I'm not really that concerned. Planet build speed, again, not really my thing. Um I I like afterburners. Um They're nice. But not that big of a deal. You have coil guns because uh, I'm I'm currently needing to use the power. If I if we get like zero point energy or something, uh, or you know along the the power tech train, um, then then maybe I'll I'll concern myself with it. All right, we are chugging along. Kill some extra surveys here. Oh. We have encountered some form of alien vessel in the Gorgmora system. These strange objects have been fla flagged as Gamma Menace until we can learn about them. We should proceed with caution. Go to. News of alien ships humming through blah blah blah. Yeah, we get it. It's shitty. We don't like other people. does actually kind of look like an empire, like an AI empire. So we're going to do that. That's definitely more important than, um... Yeah, it's scanning. Shit. Okay, so we got to decrypt their communications and see where they are. Uh, because they can see they're up here. We're going to go boop, 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 and jump them. Uh, which means... construction ship is instead going to go out and build this way. Okay, station output. So we could do another research station output, and that might be good. Um, research speed. Um, fuck it. Let's go with more more research potential. I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. Okay. Now I want him to instead of going down there, he's gonna go down here. 
Oh, new traditions. Uh, research station output increased again. Uh, we're just going to focus on our research. That early game. Yeah, okay, so instead of moving there, we're going to go here instead and build this one. We're taking this. This is ours. Okay, a Ute listening post. So we've discovered several massive listening arrays on Kirkmora 5. These arrays are millions of years old, and we believe they were originally built by the Ute, though it appears at least one other alien civilization repurposed them at some point in the last 500,000 years for their needs. The colossal receiving dishes are beyond repair, but some terminals are still intact. So control shift research. Yeah, and then it does that, and then we'll still continue with what I told it to do. Uh, the atmospheric patterns of Kauri 2 are highly atypical uh, for a gas giant of a modest size. Okay, well, get on it, buddy. Let's see what's going on. Oh man, we're gonna be blocked in early game. Yeah, but no, if they're up here, this is our. our our jump point. If they're over here, this is our jump point. Either way, I still think this is the best path to go. Well, not one, two. Boom. What we had assumed was an anomaly, an abnormally small gas giant is, in fact, not. Beneath the deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet, a barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on New Earth. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, no, so 1, 2 uh, gets us here, and then 1, 2 gets us here. So wherever these guys are, uh, our archaeologists on Gurdmora 5 have learned that the listening arrays built there were used to scan space for any signs of intelligent alien life, something the Ute had never once encountered. After managing to partially restore power to a computer terminal, the archaeologists acquired a data disk with logs, files, uh, log files from the sensor array stretching over centuries. These logs suggest the section of the galaxy was indeed devoid of sapient life at the time of the U Empire. Centuries alone. Okay, some, some extra engineering research. Oh, wow, okay, hi guys. Uh, we are receiving transmission from the hegemony of Fasafanga. Uh, we are receiving transmission uh, that appears to say the translator language. Okay. So, what are these guys? Fanatic, xenophile, authoritarian. I speak on behalf of hegemony of Fasafanga, and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Executive Malar Zizak, is. Zuhak is, is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species and we look forward to an exchange of cultures and ideas. Respect our authority, or else. News that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core. Neat footage of these bizarre creatures is spreading through media outlets across the human star empire, and many citizens have been gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities on New Earth. The strange Xenos appear to have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they are clearly spacefaring. Whether they regard our great species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference, it's anyone's guess. Hmm. Well, they're really small, so here's what I'm thinking. Hmm. No military attack. No, but uh, naval capacity from soldier jobs. That could be useful. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's really ramp up our military. They're receptive to us. They just want to give us stuff. Very well. We shall take your bribe. Yep. 
I'm going to close your borders to us. Okay. Well, if that's how you want to play it. Get three new ships off the line. We're going to war. These foul Zenas invade our territory. They then attempt to bribe us. They then close their borders to us. They will learn. Oh, they will learn. If they want. Oh, right, I have to manage claims. I have to claim their, their stuff. So basically all I have to do is claim this, because it's their only colonized planet, and we get it. Survey completed. Though our surveys are of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected vast amounts of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. I'm, I'm not surprised. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on New Earth. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search of strange life forms, so that we can kill them. That's an important thing to remember. Suffer not the Xenos. No, no, no. I'm actually not all that concerned with pushing out here. There are signs of activity by each precursor. Okay. So I'm thinking we need to uh, massively ramp up our navy. Um, we gotta go to war soon. Should have done that non-aggression pack while we were. Freshly open. Uh, leader experience gain, leader level cap, and then ultimately uh, pops working and research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. Not bad. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll do expansion, since that's kind of what we are doing. We're expanding out a lot. Um, just fine. All right, I was going to do. Uh, I've, I've been trying to force myself to get into uh, the, the the fleet manager role here. Okay, Olimar 3A was subjected to extensive orbital bombardment at some point in the distant past, during which the biosphere suffered catastrophic damage. The room appears to have been home to a small outpost built by the ancient Ute. But why would the But why would that warrant the devastation of an entire island world is a mystery? I kind of like these guys. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this moon, possibly the room some kind of massive fleet action. Okay, cool. Um Quick look at New York. What's going on? How are we doing? Building on the generator district. A new faction recently been gaining traction in the interoperative landscape, the Human Star Brother, by Governor Gallus Minasius. They call themselves the Human Ascendancy Vanguard. Their members seek to assert the primacy of the human species. Ah, good. That's good. Path of Victory Committee. Uh, sort of military dominance, yeah. Yeah, basically. That's, that's kind of why we're here. Um, you know. But I'm glad that my citizens are getting on the same page. I really am.
there is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit to Miriam 3 Alpha at some point in the last 5,000 years. That's not too far behind. The surface on um, one side of the moon is pockmarked from craters, uh, with craters from stray weapon blasts. The scans of the ISS Polymius Silvius have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wreck ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science officer Guy Roberius is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict holes for any valuable technology. Do it. Do it. Get it done. We could have potential weapon or armor uh, technologies for us. We can't deny the potential here. Alrighty. We're running these alloy foundries dry. We gotta pump out the one machine. Their fleet power is superior to us. That's. That's no good. We should have made a freaking uh, non-aggression pack. We could have broken it at any time. The console impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet. Research it. Find out what collided with the planet. It could be some foul Xenos weapon. The team under science officer Guy Roberius has finished their expedition on Miriam 3 Alpha and returned to the ISS Polymia Silvius. Thankfully, the Starship graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. Studying the remains of these vessels has advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to discover. A permanent science depot in orbit would be a great boon to our Starship engineering efforts. Shit, I, I didn't... I'm stupid. I didn't actually, I just hit OK without... Do we get like a credit towards something? Gosh, I hope so. We're so close to Railgun too. Oh no, the foul Xenos! Massive order. A crater on Olimar 7, 8 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rather than the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The ISS Polymius Silvius has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site, reminiscent of the collapsed hyperparticulate field, but the ship itself disintegrated an impact. The theory cannot be verified. Remarkable. And these foul Xenos. Oh, we, we automatically close border, didn't we? Well, open borders. Uh, I want to I wanna be in control of... Oh, okay, I need to fix that. Um, where is my... Um, uh, policies. Yeah. Purging is allowed. Slavery is allowed. Population controls allowed. Refugees, citizen species only. Robotic workers is allowed. Trade policy uh, earns uh, energy credits, energy credits, consumer goods, energy credits, and unity. Yeah, we'll be fine with that. Uh, mixed economy, what would that be? Consumer goods from jobs plus alloys. Oh no, it's minus alloys. Well, I don't want consumer goods as much as I want alloys, so... Militarized, that's kind of what we are. Jack crops have normal food and grow speed. Uh, plus 25% on the food upkeep. But they get extra happiness and grow speed. Um... We'll wait on that. Initial border status needs to be set to open. I I want to declare when we when we shut it. Uh, aggressive first contact. That's fine. Um, 
Native Enlightenment. Um, loud. Um, unrestricted. Indiscriminate. Unrestricted. Cool. Okay, so uh, that massively bumped us in that direction. They they were pissy with us because we uh, closed our borders off to them. fly right through the Falzinos territory and see what they have firsthand. And we'll build a star base. Ah, because they beat us to it. Well, you know what that means. It means that this gets upgraded. Sucks. Research complete. Coil guns. Hmm. Armor damage. Ceramo metal armor. Strike craft. Pull points. I think the best thing to do right now is just grab a flat hull point, but. Uh, the armor may be better in the long run. So, we're going to go with the, with the armor. Alright, now we're going to go to our ship designer. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to coil comes out of him because, uh, It's just stronger. I, I don't know why I wouldn't. Oh, I didn't actually hit save, did I? That's, that's totally fair. Well, actually, for now, we'll leave one laser on. I don't know what their, what their ships have. Brawler class. The idea was just to get the most damage possible, so. Yeah, and this is why I want armor, because even with that, it's, um. With the upgraded guns, it still needs to go to one armor. Okay, so our fleet power is sitting at 522. They have a station at 451 and a fleet of 74. They have 18 ships, though, for that fleet power. So we're going to be way better off than them because uh, by the time that we get the 18 freaking ships, uh, we're going to way outpower them. Okay. Suffer not the Xenos. Continue researching the stars. See what other foul threats lie out there for us. I think 
think now uh, new tradition yes alright research have their kid produced and now it's ascension part time so what do we want uh, Starbase influence cost and uh, claim influence cost is nice we're about to go uh, mess them up so now that's good uh, research speed and rare technologies are 50% more common uh, we'll maybe do that one next I uh, don't care about that. Field product of ministry capacity, blah, blah, blah. Edict duration. Subject integration influence and subject trust cap is good. Um, we're going to go with interstellar moon because I'm feeling the star base cost now. Shit, I just destroyed it by accident. Why aren't I stupid? Um. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Ah, what did I do? Why am I so dumb? There's no going back now. God, what a waste. I was trying to refund it so I could get it back cheaper. Uh, but, you know, that's why it didn't work out. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're doing all right. Research complete. Sweetness. Okay, farms produce more food. Eat it costs, uh, hydroponics farms. It's a building, pop growth speed. Uh, I guess we'll do this, uh, just because that's a flat bonus. 20% uh, increase, and then uh, I might switch over to my other thing to make my pops happier for 25 more. Um, because then it's only 5% more really with this benefit. I don't know, we'll see. Hatchery world. Research anomaly, then research projects, then go survey this. Not a, not a whole lot going on there. Hmm. Equivalent. Gosh, they're making sick. Look at them, they suspect nothing. Nothing! The fools! The fanatic xenophilia blinds them. Silly aliens. Uh, I need, I need boundaries for these. I just don't care. I, I know that, uh, I kind of want to do something else, but I can't. Cannot afford, uh, not to rent this war machine. Uh, that's 12 on that, so we're going to need, uh, to build a couple more of these. Wow. Alright. So not a whole lot of life going on up there. That's good, that means we can expand out and take the end of this arm. Now, on this star base, what do we have? Modules. Uh, civilian docking area, collection range plus one. Well, it's already got that, so we don't need to do that. Um, what we will do, Anchorage, Naval Capacity plus four. Mm. Yes. We'll get two Anchorages here. 
10 was at crew quarters, dock ship upkeep minus 25. Target uplink computer, ship weapon range. Uh, the heat satellite. The heat satellite was placed in orbit around Olimar 9 to commemorate the moment of first contact between Neuron Fire and the Jabardini, a contemporary civilization. This event occurred right here in the Olimar system and had a profound impact on all levels of Ute society. For over a million years, they had thought themselves alone in the galaxy, and the Ute reacted with both awe and horror upon the discovery of sapient alien life. The ISS Polinius Silvius has discovered the satellite with now its full analysis. Um. Yeah, no, we're just gonna go with crew quarters. That's fine. Uh, situation log updated. Okay, so he. Oh, because I hit track all, including the one. So he has two out here. Well, there's really nothing going on out here. Offer a trade deal. Communications. For communications. Uh, is this palm tree to have some sort of insane bargaining strategy to device? Listen here, you jerk wads. Um, I'm thinking. We should now go and see what's out here. Try to get an ally on the other side. Okay, after extensive studies of Olimar 3A, uh, we now know that the moon served as one of the several hatchery worlds in the Ute Empire. The Ministry of Breeding prepared worlds by sterilizing them from predators and other potentially harmful elements before planting eggs on the surface. The Ute hatchlings were then left on their own in this relatively safe environment for several centuries until they developed a level of near sapience. Only then were they collected and carefully introduced into society. Um, interesting. So, they let them evolve uh, into their own species and then brought them into the fold. That's uh, an interesting way of doing it, guys. Cool. Research complete. More station output. Uh, now I'd really like this uh, deflectors or the fusion reactors, but I I really want to get this research too. Uh, I just I'm having a hard time because no, I don't need the reactors that bad. We we have uh, armor and then to supplant the one shield that we don't have power for. Uh, during a survey of Howes Four, the ISS Polymia Silvius discovered. Deposits of rare crystals. And these crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component in, mo in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations and adornments. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider setting up control systems for future exploitation. Rare crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams. Okay, so rare crystal mining, uh, if that tech comes up. Rare crystal mining or dark matter drive. Um, so, we discovered some form of alien vessel in the, oh, oh. Uh, another one. Yep. Um, that's where we are going to leave it. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, um, where we pick up and potentially devastate our neighbors for being too friendly, because you have to remember, suffer not the Xenos.